Where is Major League Fishing Invitational going to fish next year for 2025? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, like news, opinions, all this stuff, closer looks, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. Become part of the team and family because hopefully I'm doing something that you like. I have to say thank you to all the new subscribers, all the people that comment all the time, all the people that leave comments and insights and just are unbelievably knowledgeable. I really do appreciate all of it. So that's why I try to reply to all of them. But thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button. This afternoon, Major League Fishing announced the schedule for the 2025 Invitationals. And there's a couple really nice things that they're going to do for 2025. To start, there will be 150 anglers fishing six events and now a championship. And that is a huge deal because there's no entry fee if you make the championship. And every angler that makes that championship is automatically guaranteed $5,000 and also the winner is going to win up to $135,000. Now, why is that such big news? They haven't had a championship to start off with. And this is a way for anglers to compete, get the angler of the year points, which also makes you a little bit of money, but also an end of the year tournament where you can go fish and just fun fish, not worry about points, and just put down everything that you can do to try to win that event. And automatically getting $5,000 back is incentive right away to make that championship. And in the six events, Major League Fishing is going to give away $4.3 million in the purse. And that's a hell of a lot of money. One third of the field will get paid at least $8,000. But that other two thirds is kind of SOL'd. Each stop, the anglers have a chance to win up to $115,000 for first place. It's $80,000 for the tournament and then there's a $35,000 Phoenix Bass MLF bonus. So $115,000 to first place or up to $115,000. Angler you will get $50,000, which is unbelievable. And the top five anglers and angler of the year will go to the BPT, which is then will be rounded down to 50, which is really an elite field. The next big thing is they will be broadcasting all three days of the Invitationals. That's a big move for the Invitationals, getting those anglers the opportunities to promote their sponsors, showcase new anglers that maybe we've not heard of, and Major League Fishing is really stepping up in the BPT and the Invitationals by adding more money, broadcasting more, and then also these championships that are really a lot of money that these anglers can make. But where are they going? That's what we want to talk about to start off with. Well, they're starting off February 21st through the 23rd is stop one on the Kissimmee Chain of Lakes right over there. And even though February probably most people will think it will be a pre-spawn spawn fishing, depending on where our weather is, on if we cold weather, weather later and the moon cycle, all that stuff, it could be really spawn post-spawn. I know a lot of people think the spawn happens in February. We've seen it fall a little bit earlier each year. I think January, February is generally when we see the spawn here. So it could be absolutely lights out fishing. Stop two is March 14th through 16th on Lake Hartwell. And that's another place where it should be pre-spawn or spawning fish. I think Hartwell will probably have bigger fish than here in Kissimmee. And that's not throwing jabs at Toho and all those places. But I think Hartwell and the Kissimmee Chain Lakes are both heavily pressured. But for whatever reason is, I think Hartwell just seems like they produce bigger fish than us a lot of times. Now Kissimmee, you can go all over and you're, you'll probably see a couple 9, 10, 12 pounders. But Hartwell, just for whatever reason in my mind, seems like it, it should be giant, giant fish. So second stop is at Hartwell. The third stop is April 15th through the 17th, stop three on Smith Lake. I think this is also going to be a pre-spawn fishing. I think this is a great place to go. When I start looking at the BPT schedule and I look at this schedule, I have to be honest, I'm really impressed. I don't know who's picking the lakes, but this is another one that this invitational schedule is really quite impressive. I think they go three for three in winners on this one. 
Stop fours May 9th through 11th on Pickwick Lake. Probably post spawn fishing. I think Pickwick will probably show out pretty well. I think this is another home run. I, I'm honestly, I'm so dumbfounded by how well they're picking lakes and where they're going. I do think there might be some things where we need to pick some different lakes, but this will give every angler an opportunity to do well and be able to catch a lot of fish. Stop five is June 20th. I have it June 20th through 21st, which would be wrong. So we're gonna say June 20th through 22nd or somewhere in that range. And that is on James River. Now this could be exact spawn time for James River. This is generally when that fish starts, those fish start to spawn in the very Northern areas. But uh, most likely it'll probably be spawn, post-spawn. But this is another place that's just another great pick for the Invitationals and for the Anglers. And we're gonna see a lot of these places, scoping is gonna be heavily influenced. I don't think Florida will be heavily influenced but I think you'll see a lot of forward-facing sonar anglers, but we'll see what they do with forward-facing sonar over the next few weeks. Sixth stop is on St. Lawrence River, July 25th through the 27th. Uh, I mean, what can you say? It, it, another home run place to go fishing. It's a home run. And then last but not least is September 5th through 7th is the championship on the Mississippi River. And of course, that'll be way past the spawn, everything else. That'll just be really good fishing. I don't know a lot about the Mississippi River and fishing, bass fishing, but I think this is a good place to go and not a place that we hear a lot about. And I think this will be another winner. And like I said, I think this is an absolutely great schedule for the Invitationals. I don't see anything wrong with it. I do think there's a lot of pre-spawn, post-spawn spawning areas at the beginning of the season. I'm hoping that it isn't all about forward-facing sonar, but we'll go, we'll have to wait and see. But I think this is another good schedule for Major League Fishing. They killed it, I thought, on Bass Pro Tour for 2025. I think they killed it for the Invitationals too, but you tell me what you think of the schedule. You think they hit a home run? Do you like that they're coming out with a schedule a little bit earlier than everybody else? Because I think this is a good way for some of the guys to get their feet wet and try to learn as much as possible in some of the places they might not know. I think most of these places though are places they go on a fairly regular basis other than the Mississippi River. So I think everyone pretty much knows how they're gonna fish and where they're gonna fish, but another great schedule. But you tell me what you think in the comments below. Remember, take your kid fishing. Thank you very much for everything. I really do appreciate it. It's humbling and I really do appreciate y'all. Remember, take your kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.